Hadoos. So, um, current game plan for this video is basically do as much item clean up, clean up as possible, and then probably go to the wrecked ship or something. Um, oh, good. I'm glad that that works. So yeah, that I didn't know. In, um, in the GBA Metroid games, if you shine spark into a slope like that, you continue running, and then you can, like, recharge the boost and stuff. Apparently that is not the case in this one. That I didn't know, because, um, I always just kind of, like, the GBA games, as I've mentioned before, don't explain that that's an ability you have, and you're, like, expected to have played this game first, and so the fact that they, like, introduced a new mechanic to that just seems weird to me, because I don't know why they would expect you to figure that out. I guess just through experimentation, but it's kind of iffy. So anyway, I'm going to try my best to get through the frickin' spiky hall. Um, probably just going to save state to get through it, because at this point I don't really care. Um, there's like one other item I'm missing in Brinstar, and then uh, a couple things in Norfair probably, and then yeah. I uh, imagine a lot of this is probably going to be edited out, because you don't really need to see the travel time. You don't even really need to be seeing this part, but I guess it's not really hurting anything. Not like it's taking that long to get there. So, here we go. Also, I tried off-screen, um, and I determined that I cannot do a crystal flash on keyboard. So, when it gets to a point where that is required of me, I am going to have to switch to a controller, and I... Okay, let's immediately restart that. Hmm. Yeah, I, I really don't want to switch to a controller. So I was told that a uh, good method of getting through this area is to basically take damage from the waver instead of the spikes, because it gives you invincibility frames and it does less damage than the spikes do. Hmm. Starting off good here. Starting off real good. Fuck this. I, I, like, I, I don't give a shit. We're just gonna pretend that I did this legit. I forgot if I could stand on that, but yeah, apparently I can. Okay, here, here. Da damage me. Da <sighs> can I kill this asshole? There we go. Come back. Come back. I need you. I don't want to take unnecessary damage. I guess what I'm doing... Okay, there it is. And I missed it completely. Okay. There, at least I got, like, a few frames. Good enough. Maybe. That, that's actually quite debatable at this point. Okay, is it going to come back so that I can freeze it? God, I took a lot of damage there. What the hell? Okay, there we go. Uh... Please. Uh, okay. That'll do it. Now I just have to not die on the way back, and we'll be golden. Since I have reserve tanks, I think I'll probably be okay. So anyway, here's the x-ray scope. I don't know why I waited so long to reveal what this thing was. It's not like anybody's watching this who doesn't know the game anyway. So what it lets you do is... Uh, it reveals secrets if you hold the run button for some reason. Apparently it is also used in glitches. I have not looked into this at all yet. I'm somewhat interested, but not sure how far I'm going to go with that kind of stuff. I don't really want to start doing like weird out-of-bounds crap. So, eh, I don't know. Okay. Just fucking book it at this point. Whatever. I have enough to get out. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. So, I might have been able to get through that without rewinding and stuff, but... I mean, I definitely would have. It's just it probably would have... I would have died a few times and had to keep reloading, and nobody wants to deal with that. So, that leaves uh, one other item that I'm aware of in Brinstar, so I'm gonna go get that, and for the record, it is not the energy tank down there. Though I hear I can get that through some kind of, like, out-of-bounds glitch. 
Again, I'm, I'm getting most of this information from a single comment on the last video, and I have not looked any further into any of this. Alright, we're back in the mauve-colored skin flakes room. Um, there is a thing I could have gotten here a long freaking time ago that I just either forgot existed or didn't realize I didn't already have it. Um, because there was a door on the left side that is, yeah, that one right there. You can't get to it, and, uh, I should have investigated further to find out, like, how to get on the other end of that, but I didn't, so. Let's just, uh, lay down another power bomb here, and, oh my god, it didn't do anything. Okay, that isn't where you do it, apparently. Um, I think this might be it. Or you just go through the... Okay. Did I even need a power bomb? I thought I did. Maybe not. But, uh, yeah, that's about all we got here. And, yeah. So, I think that's the last item in Brinstar, other than the ones that I need to beat Kraid to get. So, what's the deal with this place? Good. I like that wall. That wall has a purpose. Like, is, is there anything here? Apparently, no. Okay, good. Alright, so, done with that. Nothing I can get in Criteria other than the area I'm going to be heading to after I do item cleanup, so obviously not going to do that yet. That means back to Norfair, where I can take a colossal amount of heat damage and everyone will have a fun time. So once again, I will cut back when I get there. Yeah, I see a glass tube. I'm not dealing with you yet. Even though that's uh, where I'm ine inevitably going to have to go pretty soon, because I'm rapidly running out of other stuff to do. But. Uh, yeah, not really looking forward to doing that. I'd rather take constant heat damage than have to deal with constant ass underwater controls. Alright, so I think there should be a save station here. Yes, there is. Let me hit that real quick. There's two missiles in this area that I'm aware of. Um, I'm going to try to grab those at least, and then I guess scout out as much more of this as I can. I do have quite a bit of health, so I should be able to, like, tank it through most of these places. Also, um, I was doing a little bit of off-screen exploring before I started the recording, and I wanted to remind myself of this area. There is a missile there. Also, I'm just going to rewind to get that health back, because screw it. Um, there's a glitch to open those kind of gates from the wrong side, but apparently it only works if the thing you need to hit is on the left and you're coming from the right which is kind of weird, so we can't actually do that. Also, I don't know who this we is. You're not helping at all. Except for the comment that did help, but shut up. Alright, so let's head back this way. Because I had... Actually, hold I didn't even freaking go to the save room. What am I doing? Alrighty. But yeah, there's a fairly irritating missile expansion that um, I hinted towards earlier but didn't attempt to get because it was in a heated room and I didn't feel like dealing with it at the moment, so... Oh, good. You know what? Screw it. I have the speed booster. What am I doing? See, so, yeah, I basically just want to go down here and hopefully have enough health to get through all this. Because I don't know how far this is going to take me. Out of here, just giga. Nobody likes you. Oh no! Always good to go into an area with uh, less health than I'd like. Okay. So let's see how this is gonna work. I'm gonna freaking jump in. Yep. Okay, okay. That is not what I wanted to have happen. Can we wall jump, please? Come on, get up. Get the fuck up. You're gonna die. You're gonna die if you don't... Okay. Stupidest missile location. 
Why is that thing there? And all these platforms crumble, so it's really irritating to get that one. Okay, now can I get through this shit without dying? I don't think this is going to lead me anywhere of use, but... Oh, crap. Is this power bomb stuff? Or is this speed boost stuff? That looks like speed boost stuff. Oh, God, I'm dead. Okay, come on, quickly now. Now, I thought someone told me that you can't use the speed booster when you're taking heat damage. I don't know, it kind of looked like I was earlier. Oh, shit. <clears throat> yeah, I'm dead. Okay. Let's test that again, because it looked like I was using speed boost there. And I'd like to try to get through that hallway, even though it probably doesn't lead to anything of use. Actually, no, it kind of loops around, and then I can maybe get that other missile from behind. So, maybe if I don't get hit by a bunch of random-ass enemies on the way in and fuck up getting the missile for, like, nine minutes, then that might work out for me. I still don't know for sure if it will, but we'll, we'll try. That's what this series is about, is trying random things and probably not succeeding. Okay, let's not die from random shit. We get to hear the excellent v v v v v v noise of the ice beam. Not an annoying sound at all. Okay, once again, for the sake of making things less annoying, let's save state here. Did I even jump? Okay. Ugh. Why? Why can't... Okay. Yeah. This is why I saved stated. I don't know why I fail so much at this first wall jump here. Like, that's all I need to do. It's not that hard. Now, if I can get through the speed hallway, then we'll be good. Let's see if this is going to work. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a speed boost. It's just these fucking enemies are getting in the way and ruining it. Okay, come on. Go. Except now now I'm losing it. What the I was keeping it before. What's causing this? Why is this so random? Okay, no, I think it's Oh, uh, no. No. All right, quickly now. Quickly now to the save, to the fucking save, please. I'd like to get to the save. <laughs> Please say the save room isn't hated. Okay. It isn't, so... This may seem like a stupid place to save. And it probably is. So I'm actually going to... Make an alternate save state here. Just... Really? Really? I hate when I press the wrong button. Okay, so here's the point where I basically have to do a crystal flash or else I die. Unless I can get through that room with 44 or 144 energy, which I kind of doubt, but let's find out. Yeah, there's no way in hell this is going to happen. Okay, okay. Please... Okay, yeah, I need freaking grapple beam, too. Alright, crystal flash it is. So I need to plug in a controller. I will be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Got a 360 controller plugged in. I'm hoping that I can adapt to this reasonably. Spoilers, I probably won't be able to. Um, Because it's this fucking game, and I hate the controls in this game. So, um, to do a Crystal Flash, I need to be below 50 health, I think. So, let's do that. And now we have to do... Select Power Bombs. Hold down, and L, and R. I don't know why it's holding right. I did not tell it to hold right. Okay, so down, L, R, and fire. And there we go. So, yep, that consumes 10 of each ammo, plus the... Um, 11th power bomb that you use to trigger the thing in the first place, and uh, it completely heals you, which is quite nice. So now I just have to get through whatever the hell that room was with this controller, which I 
don't really know how to use very well. And um, we're probably in for a fun time, if I had to guess. Hmm. Okay, I should totally be able to make that, right? If I'm not hit with random... Nope, we're bomb jumping. Okay, no, that's power bombs. Oh, God. And the platforms are gone. Oh, 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 my. <laughs> I think we're going to be reloading that save. Um, There's no way for me to make this without grapple beam, is there? Garuda, you are a piece of shit. Okay, yeah, I definitely can't jump it from there. Guess what we're doing again. God, I'm going to have to freaking bomb jump that? That's awful. It, w it would be nice if I could, like, just switch between the controller and the keyboard without having to, uh... Like, reset the controls every single time, because I do not want to stay... Oh, shit, that was the wrong... I didn't hold down fire. Why do you have to hold 25 different buttons for this to work? <laughs> A little bit annoying. Okay, now let's save. That would probably make sense. Also, there's a number of other rooms that I could get to from here, but I'm determined to get this missile. It's probably going to kill me, but I'm going to get it somehow. Probably didn't need to go up this way. And let's go here. Kill this asshole. And off we go. With uh, timing problems. Because I suck at bomb jumping. Oh god. I'm gonna frickin' have to use a reserve tank in the middle of this bomb jump, too, and that's gonna fuck me up. Okay, come on. We can make it. We can make it. What am I even doing? This is so dumb. No! I hate fucking bomb jumping so much in this game. Okay, whatever, just die. Reload. We're gonna do this one legit. We're not gonna save state. Also, if you're hearing a noise in the background, that's a dishwasher. I don't know if that's audible. With this microphone, it probably isn't, because if I am more than, like, three inches away from it, I can't be heard at all. Not bother with the Garuda this time, because it doesn't need to be involved in the process. Okay. Freeze the dickweed. No, freeze the, freeze the dickweed. Okay. Up we go. Timing! Don't shoot me, please. I hate bomb jumping in this game. The timing is really bullshit, especially when I'm taking constant damage. Okay. So, that's a hell of a lot of health I'm going to have to get back. Luckily, there's a recharge station not too far away from here. Also, it annoys me that I did not fully explore that room, but it so doesn't matter. Like, I'll... I might clear that out later once I actually have the various suit at the very end of the run if it bothers me. God, I am... I don't know if I just need to change the controls, like, on the title screen, but playing with... With the keyboard, these controls make perfect sense. With the controller, it's fucking awful. Like, having to hold the A button, or I guess on the 360 it's B, but whatever. Having to hold the right button with jump on the bottom and shoot on the left just doesn't work out unless you hold your hand at a really weird angle. Also, I'm just going back to get a heal, so whatever, I'll cut back to Norfair in a minute. So I just realized something. Um, since this is a 360 controller, it has uh, more than one shoulder button. I can totally put run on the uh, right trigger, and I think that'll make this a hell of a lot more comfortable. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 about five thousand times better. This is th this is what I was saying earlier about how like I wish I could just put run on the R button with the regular Super Nintendo controls, but you can't because then you can't do a Crystal Flash because this game is stupid. 
but uh, yeah, this fixes that problem. Now, I'm not playing 100% legit because I wouldn't be using this kind of controller. Oh, right, I forgot A is right trigger. Okay, um, I wouldn't be using this kind of controller if this was on console, but I wouldn't be using a keyboard if this was on console either, so I don't really feel that bad. Okay, let's grab that other missile and then see if there's anything else in this fucking hellhole that I can actually collect. I don't know if there is. Either way, we're probably heading to uh, wrecked ship territory pretty soon. Okay, can we can we get can we get just can we get And we're about to witness one of the stupidest missile locations in the whole game. Wait, this isn't dead as a shit. I'm gonna die. Totally gonna fucking die. Because I have to go in lava. Because this game is weird. Like, what is this? What is this location? <laughs> Half of the missiles in this game are, like, the dumbest item locations I've ever seen in my life. Okay. We're still we're still going. I've got two tanks left. I can I can t probably do this. Uh, I really don't want to use another crystal flash because I should totally be able to survive this without one. Oh god, maybe not. Maybe not. No. You know I got through that section before with a hell of a lot less energy. Okay. Here I am just pressing buttons because I keep forgetting that A is the right shoulder button now. Or right trigger or whatever. I don't know. Alright, we're getting that one again. Yeah, I, I don't want to keep using crystal flashes because they're annoying and it consumes all my weapons and I might need them for other things. So let's try this again. Part of the problem with this controller is I don't know if it's better to use the stick or the D-pad. Both of them are about equally bad because the D-pad is like a weird disc. I I'm not used to the 360 controller. I barely play anything on that system. It's like if I hold one direction, it ends up pressing like seven others. Man, I'm just I'm I'm kind of a whiny bitch in this video, aren't I? In this video, I say, as if I'm not in a pl plenty of other situations too. Okay, this is substantially better than last time. If I could fucking get out of the lava, almost made it without reserves. Okay. So yeah, here's the area of much grinding. Um, but here's the beautiful here's the beautiful thing about this. Um, I could just grind to get the ammo back, and like I, I can get myself into Crystal Flash territory, do one, and then grind the ammo back, and that'll take a hell of a lot less time than grinding the health back. I think. You don't need to actually watch it either way, but. I'm curious how long it's going to take. Come on, get me below 50. Wow, you do not do much damage. One more. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> I love how trying to get hit by an enemy is actually the difficult part here. Okay. L R Y. There we go. So, where have I not been? There's a lot of places I haven't been, but, uh... Let's see which ones are... Oh, fuck these save doors. I, I hate how it has to be specifically A that you press on these. Like, if I stand in the thing... It's implied that I want to save. I shouldn't have to select yes. But anyway. 
Yeah, there's a lot of various tunnels. I don't know if the, any of those lead to anything useful, so, um... I'm gonna consult a map, because I don't know if I want to be bothered with any of this right now. Okay, so I think I've got this place pretty much figured out. Looking at how much unexplored territory I have, not counting the random patches of blue in rooms that I've obviously visited, um... This whole chunk to the right, uh, the bottom right corner, doesn't have anything in it really at all. Um, I'll have to be going down there eventually for Lower Norfair, but I'm saving that for way the hell later. Um, lower Norfair not actually being on the map currently, for the record. Uh, whereas this stuff in the bottom left, uh, there's a number of items down there that I would like to get, but none of them are actually obtainable at the moment because I have to fight a mini-boss to get through those areas, and I'm not doing that, so... Uh, I guess that means we get to make another return trip, and since I've already established I'm not doing Meridia, that leaves one place left to go, and that is, uh, Eastern Criteria slash Wreck Chip. Um, I'll cut out the return journey and see you there. Alright, making a quick pit stop to refill my ammo and save, and then we'll be able to figure out what kind of uh, bad time we're in for beyond the uh, thing that's supposed to check for the grapple beam. Now, I've not actually tried to get past this thing yet, so I'm not really sure how awful it's going to be. I, I can make guesses, though. It also depends on how far I can carry a charge. It looks like I can get one in this room, so that's not so bad. Um, cause I think I'm supposed to shine spark through this. But yeah. Um, when you're underwater, you can't really wall jump infinitely up ledges, so... That's a bit of a problem. Um... Let's see, I don't think I can... Okay, I can bomb through this, but I don't think it's gonna do me any good. so much. So yeah, I think pretty much my only choice is either to uh, do a perfect wall jump onto the middle platform and then somehow do like a perfect jump off of that to the ledge, which I want to say is doable, but it's annoying. Or I can just shine spark it, so we're going to do that. Let's get the key hunters out of the way, and I don't think this is going to be that hard. Let's see. I have more room to build up a charge than I realized. Let's uh, go ahead and get that going. Fail to jump, apparently, because I'm still not used to this controller. There, that was that was successful. I liked that one. That was a good job. Now i got to kill the enemies again. This is the joy of being forced to use a controller when I don't really want to. I mean, I could switch back now, because I'm not going to need to use a Crystal Flash anytime soon, but I probably should just get used to this, because I'm going to need it for, like, lower Norfair and stuff, and that's going to be freaking ass. Alright, can we do this? I, I held right! You are a lying piece of shit game. I definitely held right. That's the other thing with Shine Sparking in this game. In addition to it uh, not, like not maintaining its speed if you go into a slope and it drains health you also have to input the command like a freaking frame after you press the jump button it's weird like I, I let me let me test something here okay hold on so I think if I hold the jump button I might get more time let's see yeah apparently I didn't know that Okay, that makes this a little easier then. Not that I'm going to have enough time to get through here, come on. Nope. Ugh, this is what you come for. Watching me fail at very simple maneuvers. Still just randomly switching between the control stick and the D-pad, for the record, because I still don't know which is the better option. But there we go. That took about 25 times longer than it should have, but we got through it. 
And now we've got more gray skies and gloominess and, uh, and water. And robots. There was every kind of robot. But one of the robots wasn't allowed to join in the games. He helped the sailors. They worked together and they got the little boy out of the house. Okay, I'll shut up. Nobody is going to know what I'm f referring to there. I, I did explain the source of that in, like, last night's Donkey Kong Country 3 stream, but I highly doubt anybody actually watched the thing, so... Yeah, nobody's gonna know what the hell I'm talking about. And that's what makes it good. Okay, so I've got this uh, sinking feeling here that... And that was not meant to be a pun. Um, basically, I, th I feel like I'm gonna have to do some really bad, like, sideways bomb jumping type stuff in order to get through this. Um, if that's the case, then this game can go, like, eat an egg. Let's fill in the square. Okay, let's not actually fill in the square. It's not important. That's not important right now. Can we get out of the water sometime today? The answer may surprise you. Okay, how is this going to work? Go all like a hoop and make up, mess up the jump. That sounds about right. Now, um, I want to say that if I, like, shoot a missile before I shine spark in the previous room, I can, like, hit this door before I go in it and maintain it through this room or something. I might have to try that, because I don't know if I can get past this area otherwise. I'm going to try my best. We're going to try to get through this with just wall jumping bullshit, but, uh... Wall jumping bullshit can only get you so far sometimes. Especially if you can't play for crap. Oh my god. I need to I need to switch back to the keyboard. This is fucking awful. I don't know how anybody plays this game with a controller. Like it, it's just I feel like it's less precise. I don't know why. And I think I did actually play through this game on controller once, but it was not a happy time. Also, this feels like this should be enough space to get a quick a quick boost. Let's see. Maybe not. Like I, I thought I could build one really quick if I did it right. You just kind of start, you take a few steps and then start running. Oh, yeah, that, that'll that do it. You asshole, I did not say to go that way. Well, at least that uh, answers the question, though. Okay, there we go. Bypassed a bunch of crap, and I don't think I needed to worry about any of it, so I am fine with this uh, turn of events. Okay, so how much can I actually do in the wrecked ship? Probably not very much. Because I don't think most of this area really opens until I beat the boss here. Save... I don't think this even works. Yeah, you can't even use the save room. Uh, let's see. Can I go up? Also, we're just going to ignore the little testicle skull monsters. I don't know why I called it that. Okay, so that door's shut. That door, I think, normally opens if you kill all the enemies in the room, but I probably need to have the power on for that to work. Let's double check. With the uh, skulls constantly spawning in, I don't think the game will even recognize that all the enemies are dead anyway, so... God, there's a lot of these. What even are they? This is a weird section of the game. I don't fully understand what its deal is. Okay, so yeah, this place is completely pointless. 
Although I can leave to the left, which I think will lead to a few more items. Oh, no, I can't leave to the left, actually. That was, that was a complete fabrication. Alright. Good, this room had a point. Is there anything at all I can do in this place? I think I was told that I could get, like, at least two missiles here. I've yet to see that. Okay. Hold on, is there a thing here? I feel like there's a thing here. There is. This better not be the boss room. No, it's not, thank god. I was gonna have to rewind if it was. Hey, R2-D2, how you doing? Hey, do you move? Okay, I guess he didn't need to move. Unless I have to go in that bottom one, which will annoy me if I do. Yo. Yo. What do I do? No. It's totally blocking the one I need to get into, isn't it? Wow. What an asshole. Yeah. So how was I supposed to get two missiles in this area again? I'm pretty sure there was a comment that said that. So far, I am not seeing any sign of that being true. I guess I just have to double check all the walls. Because I don't remember what's destroyable in this place. But I'm, I'm very rapidly making my way towards where the boss is. And I am not doing that, so... Yeah. This is a good place. Why did I bother coming here exactly? Oh right, because I thought that there was stuff. I think I can go down here safely. The door's not going to lock behind me, is it? No, okay. So, over here is definitely where I do not want to be. I'm just showing that off t to be clear about it. And can I go to the left? Apparently yes. What's over here? A non-working map station. Okay, let me check the map real quick, because I, I refuse to believe that this is all there is in this place. Let's find out. Okay, got the map open. I'm just going to take a little look cease because there are areas uh, I have not accessed. I don't know how many of them are actually able to be reached, though. There is allegedly a door to the left here. I'm not really seeing that. Oh, no, it's it's up on more screen. Never mind. Yep, there's the door. It is uh, decidedly locked. So that one's out of the... That one's out of the question. Over to the right, we already tried that. How about up here? Is this a thing? Once again, it says I can go left here. Yeah, there we go. Maybe this will actually lead to an item. Let's find out. Wait, the spikes don't hurt me? That's weird. Okay. Well, that was one thing, at least. I have a feeling that's going to be the only one. Maybe they meant two missiles between Criteria and the wrecked ship combined. Because I did get that one underwater. And I have a feeling I can't get anything else. Okay, so this way leads to some stuff, but I can't go through the door. Left is where I came in. Save room. There's not another door here, right? Nope. Yeah, I think that's the whole ship. It was, uh... Definitely worth my time. I liked being here. And I am fairly sure I can't do anything else in this area. Let's slowly work back and find out. Um, I freeze this dude. No, okay. 
That's a door, that's a tunnel. That's an unnecessary grapple thing. Uh, yeah, that looks like about it, so... I think I've wasted as much time as I possibly could at this point, and, uh... My only options now are go through Meridia and go into Lower Norfair. There's literally nothing else I can do. Well, apparently without secret worlds and out-of-bounds shit, but I don't know how to do that, and I'm not going to bother with it. So, this was a very, uh... Uneventful video, I've got to admit. There's no way for me to get up here, right? I don't think there is. Let me double check with this shine spark, but yeah, I don't think I can get up there. Um, yeah, definitely not one of my more interesting segments, but uh, I guess it had to happen eventually. Just me searching the world in desperation for something to do. Come on, I just want to do this. But yeah, next time I guess we're going to start Meridia, because it's the lesser of two evils. I never thought I'd say that, because I fucking hate that place. But I'll take that over taking constant heat damage. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything up there. Okay. So, yeah, next time, water. A lot of it. <laughs>